So what's good, gang? I'm about to show you session fixation and session hijacking. I don't know if you want to call those the same or different, or you want to argue semantics, but here it is. We have a login page. And if I click, if I just type some random stuff in here, I'm not going to get in, right? Um, if I type admin password one, two, three, which is the correct password, I log in and they say, welcome admin. Here's your token. So with the successful login and a token, I get a PHP session ID. As an attacker, I sniff this with burp, some kind of man in the middle attack. I take this session and I come to Cali here, which this is my Cali, don't get lost. I have to delete my initial session right here. And maybe I don't know it, I'm an attacker, but I set the PHP session ID to a valid session, which is the one that I just got from Windows. And I just get unknown error every time here. Bear with me. This isn't the best. PHP says ID. Set it to a valid session and click add. Now I can just bypass the login screen and go straight to dashboard. And I'm admin. So let's explain what went on there and how do we fix that? If we look at dashboard.php, we'll see that it doesn't uh, it doesn't check to see which IP you're logging in from. The token, the session, none of that expires. So those two things are definitely bad. And I think the most important thing is the communications were not encrypted. And so I was able to sniff that PHP session ID and just put it into my cookie editor and log in as admin. So those three things are definitely bad. Let's get out of here. So if we did process login, which is what happens after you log into the bootleg site that I created, if you get admin and password correct, as I was saying earlier, this is the session parameter, which is basically the PHP session ID. Logged in is equal to, to true, and then token is equal to this, which is the um, long string that you saw on the web page. So that's it in a nutshell. You use things like tokens to manage the sessions, and occasionally these may be in a database of some sort, uh, however you do it, you just need to make sure that everything is secure and attackers can't get their hands on that stuff. So uh, pretty simple attack. Um, when you hear session stuff, like it's easy to kind of get lost in words and what they mean. But here it is. This is an older attack, and I don't think you're going to see this too often anymore. But it's important to understand older attacks because you're learning how to read code. And as you read code, you spot vulnerabilities in the code. Now, someone may say, well, don't they have code scanners and automated tools for that? Yes, they do. But when those things break down or if those things aren't updated, you have your human eyes to spot these vulnerabilities. Um, and um, it's it's fun for me, but I could see how it could be a long, deep rabbit hole having to look at PHP code and spot your LFIs and your uh, service side template injections, but uh, I, I consider it a I consider it important, especially for threat emulators, pen testers, etc., uh, because it just knowing how to fix the code um, is a lot more valuable than telling someone that telling someone, "Hey, your 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 code is screwed up." So that's all I have for this video. Please like and subscribe, and consider signing up for one of my programs where I coach you on either career stuff, OSCP stuff, or anything else in cybersecurity. I got a whole bunch of knowledge in my head, and I assure you when you get that one-on-one -on -one time with me or any other professional that's doing consulting, there is so much more value gained, not only from the recipient, but from the coach, uh, because it, it's, just, it's just a lot of synergy there. And, you know, 
sometimes if you're only talking to your colleagues at work, you can you can get the yes, man. Like, yeah, 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 you're doing good. Yes, that index is good. Yes, you're going to pass it. But when you get with somebody like me, I'm going to give you the bad news, bro. Like, hey, your index is messed up or hey, your notes for OACP are all crazy. You're not going to pass. This is what you need to do to pass. That is what you get from me. Accountability, you know, that that hard coaching, because I don't want to give you fluffy feelings and then you go in there and screw it up, which is exactly what happened to me with my first OACP. I had a whole bunch of people around me just like cheering me on, like, yeah, 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 you got this, you know, and I had to figure it out, like figure it out for my own. And luckily I've been through those situations to where you can skip some of those hardships and pass the first time. The last guy that I coached passed, and I didn't charge him money for this, but the last guy, I wouldn't even say I coached him. I just really was working with him um, whenever he needed because uh, he's a longtime friend. Anyway, he passed on the first try. I didn't pass on my first try. So if I got results like that, I'm going to definitely uh, talk about them all the time, you know, and just be proud of that. And again, I encourage everyone else. If you got a talent like that, bro, by all means, let the world know it. So that's it for me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.